also be healed in Jesus name that thing walking about in your body and you know it's like you want to lose your breath be healed in Jesus name all the night problems and the night pressures and the night oppressions I command be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray for those who have had a long-standing problem and they've carried it everywhere and yet they're still in that predicament I pray you touch them right now heal them right now deliver them right now take everything away in Jesus name those blind eyes and deem my sight the Lord is touching you right now be healed in Jesus name let bright sight come to you now in Jesus name those who are deaf and those who are dumb I pray the Lord touch you right now ear open and hear tongue be loosed and speak out brightly confirm it to the Lord in Jesus name all the pain of arthritis all the stiffness in your joints I release you right now and I release the power of God fresh upon your life in Jesus name one leg shorter than the other I pray that short leg will grow out right now one hand or both hands with that let light come into those hands in Jesus name I just so paralyzed and immobilized you cannot walk you cannot move I pray the power of the Lord and the strength of the name of Jesus will come in your body right now rise up and walk in Jesus name leprosy skin disease the Lord touches you right now be cleansed be healed in Jesus name Lord everywhere to the right to the left to the center to the back and online and radio and television performance everywhere miracles everywhere healing everywhere deliverance everywhere lord we believe lord i believe lord i believe it is done in Jesus name amen check up yourself you see the miracle right there just be still and check be still and check faith in God never fails faith in God never fails just check, check. And as soon as you observe that the Lord has perfected it, just shout hallelujah. Check. In the, at the Alpha location here, in satellite locations, across Nigeria, across Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Oceania, in America, not South. Check. It is done. Something good has already happened to you. Just check, and as soon as you experience it, just come out. And for those of us who are online, you have received your miracle too. Share your testimony with us. There, WhatsApp number that is being displayed on your screen. Yes, the clapping is going on there. Yes, it is done. It is done. Yes, check your own too because it is done. No, you can't miss it tonight. You cannot miss it tonight. I can't.
can see some movements already towards the testimony stand. Join them. Join them to share your testimonies too. Check very well, check very well. More than what you are expecting, God has done for you. More than your expectation, God has done for you. Can you see, can you see in the front, see that, see that woman, glorious, wonderful, great. Great. Where are the others? Join them too. Yes, I can see another man there too. Coming. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Everywhere the power of God is in operation. Everywhere the power of God has manifested. Just check and join those who are already coming out. Don't run away like that. Let the, redeem of the, let the redeemed of the Lord say that the Lord is good by sharing the testimonies. The Lord is great and great thing he has done for you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Cancel us, help them, help them, help them, please. If anybody is there sitting on which chair, get up on your feet. The Lord has touched you already. You are leaning on, on crutches. You, you are depending on crutches before. No, you don't need that again. The Lord has touched you. Put them off and walk. You came here not seeing before. The, the power of God has touched your eyes. The blindness gone. The dimness gone. You see clearly now. Listen to the first testimony from the Alpha location here. Praise the Lord. The Lord is doing wonders. And beside me, we have Sister Grace Ishola, who will give testimony of what the Lord has done in her life. Praise the Lord. Oruko mi ni arabirin isola grace mo wa lati oyo rijo idi group of idi pe fun sabo group ilupeju district mo dupe lowo olorun fun igba lo kan mi olorun gba aye mi la o si dari gbogbo ese meji mi lati gba na olorun wa pelu mi e ba mi ki haleluya Lati bi odun be wa ni mo tin la isoro eyan dudun ko ja mi o fi igba kan lalaafia ninu ara mi mo dupe lowo olorun nitori pe mo pin ninu olorun si mu ileri re se ninu aye mi nitori pe olorun wo olorun to npa ma je mu mo ni o ti so pe nipa ina re 
amo me lara da ileri olorun se laye mi ni aliana nipa adura baba wa ninu oluwa pastor wf kumoyi e ba mi ki aleluya mo ti wa si bowe oyo ni mo ti wa gogo gba ni mo ma wa si bowe baptist hospital mo tu wa si chichin hospital ni ogbo mo so nbi bayi si be ko lo mo tu se physiotherapy pelu eyin mi yin na ni ti mo ba joko mi le joko fun ogban seju ma dide ti mo ba dide ti mo duro mi le duro ti mo ba duro na eyin yan o ma ro mi ni bi egu eyin mi ni opolopo eri ni no bo ti fi ha mo baba wa nitori pe gbogbo test oni ruru ni mo ti se nigba to di july 15 yi eni ti o ntoju mi wa pe no wi pe awon o se kini fun mi ni wi pe ma si mu pe o didi o su meta awon fe ba mi fa wi pe ma mu 750 wa mo wo ke mo wo le mo ni mi na wa lara awon omo olorun to nto nso wi pe ka won eyan o wa si jisike pe won o ni eri mo wa pe ni mo lo le ni jo won ri pe ibanu je wa ninu okan mi idi ti ibanu je si fi wa ninu okan mi na ni pe oluwa ni gba wo lo se temi mo wa mu gbagbo mi lo mo ni ma ri baba wa ninu oluwa loju ko loju lo to mi sese ma ri won mo ni sugban riri ti ma ri won lele yi o pe de bayin dodo ninu aye mi lati bi odun mefa ni mo ti ra orthopedic bed ti won introduce si mi si be ai san yi o lo sugbon mo gbe oruko olorun alaye ga lalia na e ki aleluya nigba ti baba wa ninu oluwa pari adura mo sa ri pe nkan kan wa lati nu ori mi koja si bi eyin mi o si tutu bi igba te eyan pasi omi tutu sinu are eyan mo gbogbo nu nfe be ni gbogbo ara mi tutu ti mo ba ti joko ti mo joko pe ara mi o ma horu ni bi mo se wa si bi minin fa meji ni mo ko wa si camp bi bayi si be ko si kankan ti mo lo mo ni mi ni lo nitori pe alagbara la lo olorun ti mo wa wa si bi yo si ba mi pade o ba ye mi pade mo gbe oruko olorun alaye ga nitori pe olorun ta nsin olorun to dara ni e ke aleluya praise the lord the name of our sister is Sister Grace Ishola from Oyo region, from Sabo group. She said for almost 10 years, she has been having terrible backache. This backache, she has visited hospitals, she visited Lautech Teaching Hospital, Bowell Teaching Hospital, and all to no avail. She has been suffering. She even said that uh, for almost six years now, she has been using orthopedic uh, bed all to no avail. She said she cannot stand up for a while. She cannot sit, sit down. She will be having the pains. In fact, the doctor now, they have advised her that she should go and look for 750000 to come and undergo a kind of surgical uh, treatment. And he said, I'm a child of God, and I believe that God of heaven, he will visit me. She put her faith in God. And when the program started, she said yesterday, when the man of God was praying, say, lay your hands on the place that is paining you. She lay her hand at the back. And as the prayer was going on, it was as if iced water came from her hand, passed through her body, and now by the grace of God, she's okay. Ten years' problem disappeared. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You brought your own problem here to you. You lay your hand upon it. The man of God prayed, you are healed. I said you are healed. The hand of God has touched you. Check and join those, and join those who are giving testimonies. Don't ever think, hey, I want to go and check it. I want to go and check it for two, three days. Share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Beside me here is Sister Rebecca Oyogbami. She has a spectacular testimony to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oruko mi ni Rebecca o ye gba mi mo wa lati ni ijo Emmanuel Gospel Mission. Ni ilu Ogbomo so ni caretaker ni Olu ile ise iye ajo wa wa. Mo dupe lowo Olorun alaye fun to se ninu aye mi loju ana. Lati akoko ta ti bere fun isoji yi ni mo ti bere si be Olorun pe Oluwa. Moni irora ninu ese mi lati bi akoko di ese yin ni mo tin ba irora yi di mu to bi mo ba sun mi ki n gbadun bi mo rin ro mi n gbadun jo sade abi eni pe ki won ma ba mi jan ni nkan ni sugbon ni ana 
mo dupe lowo olorun tori pe olorun se yanu ninu aye mi nigba ti won baba wa ninu oluwa pari wa su ti won si bere si ni bi pe bere si adura lati gba adura fun wa ti won ni ka fi owo le ibi ti o ba ndu enikan kan wa mo fi owo mi si ibe mo bi owo kan so pe mo fi o kan si be bi won se ni ka se sugba bi mo se nse e me to kan yi bayi se lo da bi eni wi pe nkan kan tun ninu ese mi be ni o se pari mi ni riri ni ra ilata na mo de le gan se ni mo nfo tori fifo ti mo ti mo fo yen mi o to be kin to fo le kan sai meji be ma ti subu tabi ko ti je bi pe ese yen a da bi igba ti nkan de mi pada bo dupe lowo olorun fun to olorun se ninu aye mi e ba mi ki hallelujah praise the lord the name of our sister is sister rebecca oyegba mi from emmanuel gospel mission ogboma so here she says she has been having a severe pain in her leg. She cannot walk for a long distance. Even when she's st standing up, she will be having pains in the leg. But yesterday, when she came for the crusade, by the time of prayer, the man of God said, lay one hand where it is paining you and raise the other up. She said as the prayer was going on, it was as if a rope was loose from her leg. And since that time, no more pain. She can now walk. She can now stand. Praise the Lord. It is done. And, and yours too, I tell you, is done. Check your body. Check. The pain will not go home with you. That sorrow will not go home with you. God has dealt with it. And uh, this place is the final bus stop for that problem. You are not carrying it elsewhere. Just check. God has done it. Praise the Lord. Ah, I say praise the Lord. We have before us here, Sister Monila Amoniyi. She has a wonderful testimony to share. Praise the Lord. One year down the road. Oh, God, no September 4th. 1994 King told that 2019, be more barrack, more learning. I'm a money other on the go. Lonely. Never to walk one lay. Money and me, me, ma. More more, my lossy be soggy. Or by ye, my dear, more pada wale. Money other on the go. He beat him more tilly day. More learning. Tilly more barrack. Modupella <laughs> Emi mi ma ti ba npe sule nu ma o ti gba opa lowo mi o gba opa o gba opa mo dupe pe opa yi wo ni firin ma mo dupe pe ogun esu ti doku lori aye mi isoru onun mo kan de logbon oluwa mu dopin fun mi loni e ba mi ni oluwa logo awa mother here had the problem in Yobe State 29 years ago, September 4, 1992. She said there was a war in that place and the problem was serious. They have to be throwing them over the fence. As she was thrown over the fence, she landed on her leg and the leg was broken. Since that time, she has been battling with that leg. She cannot walk without the staff that is raised up here. And she says she has visited so many places except 
Abalis. He didn't go to Abalis as he did not go to any fake uh, prophet. But she, go, she has been to severe, uh, several prayer houses. But today, as he was coming, she told God that I'm coming to this program. When I get to Owode, that God should visit her. God should solve our problems. He says he determined that as from today, she will not be using that stuff again. And she said, by now, as we can see her standing up, not resting on the staff, the Lord has touched her after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. The Lord touched her. You too. You too. Be the two prayer you are coming, I'm sure you did pray. I'm sure you listened to the prayer. You touched that area. Check. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. As she is not going back home with her walking stick, you are not going back with whatever the devil deposited in, in your life. Before we listen to further testimonies, let's hear the orchestra. We have another wonderful testimony by Sister Abel Margaret Bolanle. She has something to say. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God in the highest for what he has done in my life tonight. I appreciate God. I give him all glory, all honor, all adoration. Blessed be his name forever in Jesus' name. This night, where I was seated, after the prayer of the man of God, I just had in my, I just had in my heart that I should, I, sh I should jump up. So I left where I was. I, I left the place where I was to the, to the um, pathway. Then I started jumping. I started jumping. So, and what really happened to me is that since my childhood days, when I was three years old, I fell sick. And after that, I, I, my parents said I shouted from my sleep. And that was what really happened to me, that I couldn't w w walk again. So ever since then, I've been in this problem to nine years old, before I now started walking again. So, but I couldn't work very well. I, if I walk, I would, I, I, would, I would fall. If I walk, I would fall. So I, I was brought back to um, UCH. That was where I was, they took me to when that thing happened. So then I was in physiotherapy. I would go for physiotherapy. I would see the doctor. What really happened since 2021 now? I started using this because I was having pains here. If I walk, I will be ha as if there is wound in inside my pelvic girdle. So in short, ever since I've been using this, but later I will leave it, I will use it again, I will leave, but just the day before yesterday, I told God that I don't want to use it again. So I stopped using it after the prayer of man of God. But as I did, because I was just trying my best to walk, it, the, way, the way I was walking wasn't, it, it, it wasn't, no, I was still feeling pain. But tonight, God did it. As I started jumping up, God did it and he perfected it for me. I walk here I, majestically. Nothing happens to me. I didn't feel any pain. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Your walking stick too will not go home with you. If you are there and you are still with walking stick, it won't go home with you. The Lord has touched you. 
Now we'll listen to testimony from uh, the social media. Yes, online, day five is turning out to be a very happy day as there are so many testimonies springing in on all our social media platforms live. And now we we'll begin with this testimony that's come in from social media. Particularly, it has come in from YouTube. And Shadie Opako, the name, wrote, Praise God for what God has done for healing my injured left ribs where I tripped and fell on the edge of a chair and rolled down banging my head on the floor. That was three weeks ago and the pain was severe till yesterday when the GS mentioned that broken rib be healed and I said amen. I claimed the healing since last night till now i do not feel any pain again broken ribs repaired praise the lord from gs facebook page faith of bati milen says i just got my miracle now i had an accident when coming back from work on friday and it affected my left arm and elbow and the pain has been severe Pastor mentioned my case this evening and after the final amen. All pain gone. Thank you, Jesus. Okore Comfort says, I've been suffering from ulcer since birth, but on the day one of the GCK, after the final amen of our Father in the Lord, I received my healing. Praise the Lord. From Facebook, Godwin Giwa says, Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from the power of betting. Praise the Lord. Godwin from Facebook says, thank you, Jesus, for healing me from headache. Thank you, Jesus. From Facebook, my name is Jude Miracle. I'm from Edo State. I am a Deeper Life member from Suleja region. I went to the hospital because I was sick some weeks ago. And as the scan results came out, I was told I had kidney infection. And after the prayer of our Father in the Lord, I knew I was healed. But then I can now see that I know I, I use no more drugs again. Praise the Lord. Another testimony coming from... The picture above is that of P.A. Olarewaju Balogun, an invitee to the ongoing GCK July edition at Sinibu Square, Lagos Island Viewing Center. He came out on Saturday to testify how he was miraculously healed from sudden death after attending the GCK the previous day. On his way home after the crusade, he was hit by a reversing vehicle that pushed him down. When he stood up, no, he had bruises but a sharp pain on his leg. When he got home, he challenged God that the God of Pastor Kumui that is performing miracles at the Alpha location should heal him. The next morning, he woke up with all pains completely disappeared. F praise the Lord. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. It's a super happy, glorious day as we also have this testimony from Lagos, Ejibo, where it is confirmed that God is giving special gifts to his children during this GCK. Let's take you now to Lagos, Ejibo, now broadcasting live. Praise the Lord. My name is Balogu John. Well, the last GCK was very far from us. I was not having enough money to go to that place. So I told my children, I said, please, maybe you stay behind today. At least this period, they have only been going with me to every GCK by his grace. And the children said, no, we are, not, we are going to go together. And I said, okay, if you are going together, let's go together. And uh, surprisingly, we went there, rain was falling, everything, and uh, we, we went inside the rain. We were drenched. And when we were coming back, the same thing, rain fell, and this was so terrible. When this one that we are in now, when it started, and he said, we should come for publicity. Then a couple called me and said, sir, are you at home? I said, I said, I'm at home. I, and uh, they said, please, can you wait for us? 
I said, can we postpone it till Monday since we are going for publicity? They said, please wait for us. And I said, okay, let me wait for you. After waiting, they came. And I allowed them in. We talked. We did everything. After the finishing, uh, they just brought in something from their purse. And after bringing it, they put a key on it. And when they put the key on it, they said, sir, the Lord said we should deliver this to you. They said, the Lord said from today, this car belongs to you. And I want to tell you, brethren, our God is real. And there is nobody that serves God that will serve God in vain. Whatever may be the situation in your life, believe God. At your time, at an appointed time, the Lord will visit you. And like I told you earlier, the testimonies are just rolling in. But we'll go back to the moderating overseer. There's more to come, more testimonies to come. We'll listen to the next testimony now here. Praise the Lord. Beside me is uh, Mrs. Esther Megida. She has a good news to share with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Madukala da la fu bala komi. Ati wa ti Jesus gba komi la ni mo ja bi ninu Jesus Christ. Modupe mo ni mo lara kan ni bere. O sukini ti le ba su ba e ni le run su titi ti le fi mo mo lo le wo san won je ke ni won ni ko si nkan kan lara mi to to ba si nkan kan lara mi mo mo pe jesus ti mo nsi yo yo wo mi san to mo si wa ba igba ti mo gboro pe baba nbo mo ni ah ogu mi ti se ni won igba ti baba nbo baba yin o jesus ro de mi to ati wa ba titi ti Moni, you tea, moti for you, sir, Becker. The money can you also be a do meji. Ah, Mondo Sassibito, more for me, no, Mondo Sassibito, more for me, no, go tissue, monitor. No, no, I shall make a ye, Motima, Peva, Bammy, you're in a jay. More titty titty, but you only by bamboo, or what ye. Baba, who I only owe, I know so careful. I didn't know so careful. I know so crazy. No one ever bumped money to Ogu Mitty Shakata Pata no so crazy. Talk, but you would never need Jano. That is a sit on. So I walk by door of four. But I need to banish your roll on about my energy showing yet. More attic by the silly, most. Ah, I'm on my duper alone. Only Jenny, the only bit you by saying a quacking of four car. We must hear more. I am me why? Tim on bad door, Tim about bad door, who about bad door, money is all ye, no more loyal ma, every in the buy a jew, but you want to bad door, Tom. Hm, Mosheva. Hm, bunk up a ma. I lost him. I get that I can't get the money to my wound. I know money to my wound, or do any money, no pay a law ma. In jail, I got a law, no, no, I am. Praise Allah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The name of her sister is Esther Megida from Ogoma Show here. She says she has been battling with, uh, first of all, she thanked God for the salvation of her souls. That God delivered her soul, granted her salvation. And since that time, she has been enjoying Christ. Praise the Lord. The second testimony, she says since January this year, she has not been able to sleep in the night. She went to the hospital. All the drugs they gave her did not solve her problem. And eventually she learned that her father in the Lord is coming to Goma so She said, I thank God, my problem will disappear. Not only that, she says she also has a cancer uh, ulcer. She has ulcer. And yes, she has been to the hospital. All the treatment given to her did not solve the problem. Eventually, on Thursday, she came, the first day of the program. As the man of God was praying, saying, lay your hands at the place that was pending, he said, she was just telling God, this problem of nisomia, unable to sleep in the night, oh God, solve the problem for me. And he said, that day after the prayer, she went back home. She slept, 
She said she slept very well. She said, okay, I will not testify today. I will still observe it. From Friday stroke Saturday again, she slept. Then on the, third, the second day when she came, during the prayer, they said, lay your hands where it's paining you. She now lay her hands on her tummy. And after the prayer of the man of God, both the sleepless night and the ulcer, everything disappeared. Now she's free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, check yourself. The wonders of God have been performed upon you too. Check. More testimonies are still coming in. Let's listen to another one. Praise the Lord. Beside me is Mrs. Grace Adigo. She has a wonderful thing to share. Praise the Lord. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. Orukomini Arabian Grace Oluaye Missy Adigun Motupani or Long Momoti or Long Shani no Ayemi Eni no Sukok and Lao Dunto Koya Moberesini Rurani Nori Yuranye Loga Joe Rulo Berry gba to ya kuro loru o tun doju momo na ni o su to koja irura yen le debi ge bo wa le le yi jisik e to su to koja mo so fo olorun wi pe o su tin bo erin ni je ojo akoko ti mo de ibe ibi soji irura yen le debi pe ati soro ti e lagbara sugbon mo wa dupe lowo olorun pe irora ninu ori ninu awo ni bi gbogbo awon fe nto wa ni bi apa mi baya ma ro mi nigba ta de bi yi mo bere si so fo olorun pe olorun osu yi o o ne ni opin de ba gbogbo awon orora ijo ninu aye mi mo si dupe lowo olorun bi pe olorun se be ni ana nigbati won gbadunram o tun so fo olorun ani ni gbe wa la yi lo le emi o ni unru kini lo le mo se olorun opin gbodo de ba mo su ta le ana mo ji la ro yi o ba ri pe emi irora mo emi na a ni do ministers conference mo ba mura mo gbona mo dupe lowo olorun to se yanu ninu aye mi ato ririro ati tapa gbogbo e lo olorun ba mi mu kuro o si mo pe ogun na to se o ni gbori mo lai lai amen the interpretation please the lord the name of our sister is grace oluwa yemisi adigon she said november last year she slept in the night and at the middle of the night she started experiencing severe pain in her head. And when she woke up, the pain continues. All along, she has been carrying it along. And the thing also moved from the head to the veins in all her hands, all her hands. And eventually, she came to this crusade. She said, yesterday, during the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. She went back home. She slept very well. No more pain in the head. No more pain in the arm. Praise the Lord. God is still doing his wonders. He's still doing his wonders. More testimonies are still coming in. Your own will be part of the testimonies too. Did you say amen? Before you is Mr. Rotinu Badamosi, God has done something wonderful in his life which he wants to share. Oruko mi ni Mr. Roti mi gbada mo si a ni jerin ti a wa si ipade adura yi gba ti awon baba wa n gba adura ti won ni ki en to ba fe fi aye fun Jesus Christ ko dide ko na wo esoke so mo wa ninu enikan to na wo soke so mo dupe fun mo dupe lowo olorun fun igbala mi leyin iyen a ti bi odun meji seyin nisin I tell us a meeting, you want to me seriously, more of a check up on a ring concord. So, la, it's a tawasibi, a drought, I'm a bang, 
gbadura to ni ka po si ibi to ba dun wa mo sa joko le mo fi owo si atelese the same thing lana so gba ta de dele lana ti mo sun tori normally tin ba ti sun loru tin ba ti sun to ba ti dibi 1 am severe pain here pain here wa very serious so mo sa ri pe mo ji mo fe to ni oru ana ni o experience any pain mo sa won wonder pe ki lo nse le mo tun fese jan le mo ri pe mo wa normal so i glorify god for what he has done in my life praise the lord the name his name is roti me badamasi he said he came to this crusade on friday he gave his life to jesus christ not only that to clap better can you have a greater testimony? He gave his life to Jesus Christ. Look at his age now. Thank God he didn't die before that time. Having gave our life to Christ, his life to Christ, he said he has been battling with problem in our soul, in the feet. He said, Peppers, the soul of his feet will be peppering him. In the night, when he sleep, there will be pain. The pain will be so severe until he came here, the man of God prayed yesterday. After the prayer of the man of God, he said he went back home. He slept very well. Since that time, there is no pain again. Praise the Lord. The peppery sensation in the soul. What happened? Gone, gone forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have before us Sister Abiodun Roda, she has a testimony to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Actually, for the past three years now, I had um, aquagenic pruritus, meaning I have um, a kind of skin disease. Whenever I finish taking my bait, I feel itching, like it's been happening over and over. And actually, every morning, that's what I pass through. It will take five minutes to itch my skin. So uh, when this crusade, I've gone to different hospitals. They said there's no solution to it. I've used different drugs as well. So uh, when I went to the hospital, they said I should stop using sponge, that I should start using soap alone to take my bed. So I've been doing that. It has been going on and off. So. Uh, when this crusade, when this crusade start, started on Thursday, I decided to use sponge. I was like, oh, this crusade, I must receive my miracle. So I started using sponge since Thursday till now. I've not feel any itching after taking my bait. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Multiple miracles. Diverse miracles. Even on skin on bones, on muscles, soles of feet. God performed miracles on them all. And that's why you must be rest assured that your problems will not continue with you. The same God that did this is still at work for you. You will have bring your testimonies very soon. Praise the Lord. Beside me is Mrs. Oluwashola Akiyemi. She has a wonderful thing to share. Praise the Lord. Every living soul, praise, praise the Lord. I want to give glory to God because he's faithful. I thank him for the salvation of my soul. For the past two weeks, I've been having pain in my lower region at the back. When I, I just got up that morning, and I started feeling that pain. So I've been... What have I been? I've been exercising it. Exercising faith. God, let this pain go. God, let this pain go. So I heard about this crusade. When I could not go for the first, I think, four days because I was busy at my workplace. So I came yesterday and I said, God, I've never been under Pastor Kumui's ministration. I'm going there. You are God. I've been hearing good things about him anyway, great things that let me receive my miracle. I could not stand for a long time. I could not sleep for a long time. I could not um, bend for a long time. But I want to give God of this commission praise. Because when I came, I sat at the middle there, and I was looking at his face. 
And I said, God, let me have my own experience. And indeed, I had my experience. It touched me. And yesterday when I was going, I was still feeling little pain. So I said, perfection. Tomorrow, God will perfect it. And today, I give God the praise. I can bend. I can stretch. I can do all things. Praise the Lord. Praise the, hallelujah. Everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, she came just once. And she got it. Uh -uh. If you have come once, twice, more than that, that means more for you too in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You won't go empty-handed. Yeah. You will not end this, this crusade empty-handed. All things possible. We'll go online now, please. Wonders are still happening online. Sister Ibere testified of instant healing of 17 years also. And on the second day of the July GCK crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, she got her healing and went home. She ate what she couldn't eat before, and now she's healed. Praise the Lord. Noah from YouTube wrote, Glory be to God. My daughter's hand pain is gone after the GS prayers tonight. Emmanuel Oyelola says, Praise God. I want to thank God for healing my wife of acute toothache and giving her divine strength after the prayers of Pastor W.F. Kumuyi. Praise God. Moreni Keji from YouTube wrote, I thank God for healing me from pain on my foot. Through the prayer of our Father in the Lord, glory be to God. Bola Joko Sosao says, My name is Grace, the last born of my mom. For one month, I had pains in my inch bone, but it vanished after the prayer of the man of God. Praise God. Joseph from YouTube wrote, Praise the Lord. I thank God for healing my excruciating pain at my left hand. After the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Directly from GS's Facebook page, Oluyinka Ajibade says, Praise God, yesterday I got my healing on my knee yesterday. And I believed God for the healing and the itches I always have on my body. Praise God. Esther from the radio wrote, I was watching the GCK on radio on Friday. I was having problem of fast heartbeat, which made me spend a lot of money. But to no avail, it didn't go. But glory be to God. After the prayer of the man of God, I was healed. Praise the Lord. Barry D. Agbora says, I have been having severe headache since afternoon after the Sunday worship. But after the final amen, I was healed completely. Praise the Lord. A shine from YouTube wrote, I had pain on the left side of my stomach yesterday. After the prayer of our Father in the Lord, I received my healing. The pain is gone. Praise be to God. John Isa says, God healed me of multiple afflictions of peptic ulcer, severe waist pain, sprained ankle, and right lower abdominal pain instantaneously after the last amen. Harry from YouTube says, praise the Lord. My wife has been healed of terrible headache immediately after the last amen. Praise the Lord. Godwin Uzuzi said, praise the Lord. God healing power has made me whole from liver inflammatory illness. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Knock from YouTube Road. Praise the Lord. Pastor Enoch testifies of chest pain that leads to the heart. He was healed during this GCK. Glory be to God. Owolabi Joel says, praise the Lord. I thank God for healing my wife from stomach pains that started since Thursday. But after the prayer of the man of God, all the pains vanished, and my daughter, Felicity, too, got healed. And now we return to the moderating overseer. Let's have the next testimony, please. I hope you are, you are following different kinds of ailments, different kinds of infirmities. Kidney, liver, stomach, head, soul, different parts of the body. Even uh, uh, lameness, uh, near paralysis, everything God has dealt with them. He has dealt with them all. Your case, if it is still there, you will see it no more. You will testify over it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beside me is Sister Goswill Adebayo. God has done something for her which she wants to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. 
My name is um, Adebayo Gosu Iladedoi. I appreciate the name of the Lord for what God has done for me. For the past three years, I've had this condition in which whenever I want to, whenever I'm pressed, it won't even give me a chance to get to the restroom. I'll discover that I, I, I start getting wet immediately. Sometimes, most of the time, I wake up in the midnight feeling pressed. Immediately, I start, it starts coming out without me getting to the, to, the, to the restroom. It has happened like that for three years. My mom knows about it. She has been praying with me. Most times, she asks about it. But this, 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 this GCK, day before yesterday, during the prayers, I just laid my hand below my abdomen here, and I asked God, because it has al is almost getting to something I'm ashamed of, because sometimes I'll be walking with my friends after lectures, and I will feel pressed immediately. I'll see that it's coming out already without me going to the restroom. And it has been terrible. But after the prayer of the man of God day before yesterday, I, 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 I believed God and I said, it is gone. Then yesterday, I, I tested myself. I drank a lot of water. Then when, whenever I, pray, I, I was pressed yesterday, I discovered that what, because I've now developed the habit of now rushing to the restroom whenever I'm pressed, but I discovered yesterday that when I, when I was pressed, it didn't come out. I went to the restroom without it coming out. I, 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 Where is your clap? I did. No, no I, on that. It, it was just, oh, it was amazing. Even this night, after the prayer of the man of God, I, from where I sat down in the front to down to the, where the restroom is like five minutes. I, it didn't come, I didn't rush because people were jump out. I didn't rush. It's, when I I did what I want to do, and I came back, and not I was not wet. Nothing, nothing came out. Praise the Lord! Thank God it was jam packed. Thank God, so that uh, you will really confirm that the Almighty God had done it. Praise the Lord! Burden lifted, shame removed, embarrassment removed. Same for you too, over every matter. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Beside me is Sister. Oluwaferomi Alabi, she wants to share her testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Alabi Oluwaferomi Deborah. I am from Ibarakwa region. So I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord for healing me of this um, three year backache that I have been having towards my lower part of the back ear. I've used, when it started initially, I've used different medications. Even people prescribed drugs. I went to the pharmacies, they prescribed drugs and all those. But I, after using them for three years, uh, after using them for some time, like I used them for a month, then nothing happened. I keep on believing God that when the, prayer, when the crusade comes up, I'll be able to get my healing. So any time Baba said, we should lay our hands where we have the challenges. I didn't lay my hand there, but nothing happened. Nothing seems to happen. So I said to myself that now that Jesus is coming to us, our place, I, I believed that I am going to get my healing. Then on getting here on Friday, on Thursday, I came late actually. Then on Friday, I laid my hand where the um, challenge is. Where the challenge is. Then I went home. After going to, I mean, to where we lodged. Then the following day, I just I didn't even notice on time that it has gone. When we are coming, I noticed after struggling for um, to enter the bus. Then we, I just discovered that ah, I just entered this board without anything. I checked my back. I twisted my back. Nothing happened. I was like, ah, is it true? So I went to give my test to share my testimony, and I was interviewed. Then they told me to keep on checking. So I kept on checking, checking till now. And from then, from that Friday, I believe I got my healing. And now I'm enjoying my newfound back. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's hear the orchestra and let's rejoice together in the Lord and praise Him. The orchestra, please. There are still more testimonies. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Beside me is Sister Nelson Esther. God has done something great in her life, which she wants to share. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus! 
Um, my name is Nelson Nesta. I'm from Oyo State, and I'm a student of Ibarakwa region. Uh, I gave my life to Christ years back, but something happened again. So I had to be dragging my foot. I was depressed. I wasn't feeling happy. I wasn't feeling at home among the brethren. So I was just living my life helplessly like that. But something happened before this GCK. I prayed to God that, God, I just want my peace back. I want my, the joy of that salvation to be restored back to me. And your spirit, let your spirit be with me back. And now I feel peace. I feel the joy of salvation. I can now share it to anyone. I can tell it to everyone. I can tell it to the world that God has restored his peace back to me. Praise the Lord. And in 2021, during the GCK, I was in, I, was, I attended to one of it. So God healed me of ulcer. So I would not, able, I would not, I, I did not able to share the testimony, but now God has healed me. And lastly, I used to have eye pain. I would not be able to look at the bright light. But now I can see the bright light without no stress, without no pain. Even if I sleep for long and wake up, sometimes I will not be able to open my eyes. But now I can see clearly. I can see any light. I can see anybody without pain. Praise the Lord! Isn't the love of Jesus something wonderful? Restored, healed. Praise the Lord! One more. Praise the Lord. Beside me is Sister Essie Dokas. She wants to share her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So I'm here to testify of what God has done for me. For like more than 10 years now, I've been suffering from peptic ulcer disease. And it has been so challenging. My mommy has taken me to different hospitals when I was young. I remember I was a very, very young child when I had ulcer. And this month, it became really severe. That a night to my birthday, I had to take ejection and drugs. I started the drugs. And I finished the drugs on Thursday morning, the Thursday of the crusade. So when I finished the drug, the night, I ate late that day. So in the night, I started having pains. Like, it was so severe. I've never felt that way before. So, so severe. But um, yesterday, the man of God prayed. And I believe that I've received my healing. So I went home. I, ate, I went to the hostel. I ate rice. And the rice was peppery. I didn't feel any pain after eating it. So I decided I would fast today. And I woke up by 6. And till this evening, I didn't eat anything. I just ate my morning food this night after the prayer of the man of God, 8 p.m. And I did not feel any pain. Ah, may his name be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's, let, let the orchestra, please. Let's all of us rise up, please, on our feet as we rejoice in the Lord and appreciate him and uh, express our gratitude unto God for the great things and wonderful things that he did.
let's stand in up. Let's raise our voice and answer up unto the Lord to say, Father, how worthy art thou? How gracious art thou? How good art thou? You have saved. You have healed and delivered from diverse problems. Delivered from shame, reproach. Delivered from long time sickness. You have, you have taken walking stick from people. You have raised the weak up. How wonderful thou art, Lord. Father, where shall our praises and our gratitude begin? You did all things well. You made us glad. You moved among us. You proved yourself, your great faithfulness, your graciousness, your might, your dominion over all things, your sovereignty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for the way you stretch out your hands to touch diverse parts of people. Aside the great salvation you wrought here, aside the restoration that you effected, Oh, glory be to your name in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that praises, your praises will not cease in our mouths. Continually, we'll keep on praising you. And all those who came out here to testify tonight and even uh, the past nights of the crusades, Lord, we know they are permanent. Father, we pray that they will keep on appreciating you. They will keep on praising you. They keep on living for you. And uh, their lives maintain, remain testimonies to your glory in the name of Jesus. And people will be running around asking them, how did you make it? How did you get it? How did God do it for you? And they will continue to share the testimonies. And for the rest, oh Lord God, our lives full of testimonies too. Glory be to your name, oh Father. As we go home now, Lord, we pray, go with us. Tomorrow morning, we'll be gathering together once again for the ministers, professionals, and workers' conference. Visit us, Lord. Let it be another time of visitation, Lord, in Jesus' name. And when we shall be coming for the grand finale tomorrow night, Father, greater than the past for this, greater than tonight, you do for us tomorrow in Jesus' name. And you will seal all the benefits and the blessings of the crusade that every blessing received will be permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. As you go now, go with us. Bear us up in your hands and lead us all home soundly, safely, joyfully. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Another event. On and to escape hell. Only one way that can be done that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ because however good you are, however generous you are, however educated you are, however high you are, however elevated you are, all that cannot save. What saves? Who saves? No other name. The name of Jesus, the earlier you make up your mind, the better when you come to Christ. All the guilt of your sin, he'll wipe away. The Lord will not allow you to perish. You will be an altogether Christian in Jesus' name.
Saving grace, no matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, Papa, they come. Walk a wine, be ya. Mutu mata so. Baba, ya, ya. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame you will run away. Oh, 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 oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from most of Satan. The gospel. GCK Gospel to every creature. You have to make up your mind to get to heaven and to escape hell. Only one way that can be done that to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ because however good you are, however generous you are, however educated you are, however high you are, however elevated you are, all that not save. Who saves? Who saves? No other name. The name of Jesus, the earlier you make up your mind, the better when you come to Christ. All the guilt you sin, he'll wipe away. The Lord will not allow you to perish. You will be an all together Christian in Jesus' name. Bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder, since chains break us under. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your sins will roll away. Give up, but you look up. There's an answer to love your pain. 
body, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace, no matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come, walk a wine, be ya, mutu mata so, baba, ya, ya, GCK Gospel to every creature. Welcome to the weekly announcement. We have an exciting lineup of events and activities. First up, we have the highly impactful GCK Global Crusade with Kumuyu program. You can tell me you've not heard about it. The Impact Academy. This academy equips youths with the tools and knowledge to make positive change in their lives and make a lasting impact for Christ in their communities. For our esteemed ministers, we have the upcoming Ministers and Professionals Conference. This conference is a unique platform where ministers and professionals from different backgrounds and denominations come together to glean wisdom, share experiences, and receive fresh insights for their pastoral and leadership roles. Tune in to GCK Daily for daily devotionals and insightful messages from Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyu. Experience the power of transformation through our impact sessions designed to empower youth for a life of purpose and influence. Don't forget to check out TKC, The King Circle, our vibrant and interactive online community where you can connect with fellow believers, join engaging discussions, and access valuable resources to strengthen your faith journey. Stay tuned to GCK TV and GCK Radio for uplifting sermons, worship sessions, and inspiring testimonies. For those with their hearts for global missions, we are thrilled to announce our Global Missions Immersion Program, GMIP. This program offers a life-changing opportunity to experience firsthand the transformative power of missions. As we reach out to those in need, and spread the love of Christ to the nations. Lastly, for our young stars, we present stars standing tall as a star. This program is designed to empower our children and youth to shine brightly for Jesus, nurturing their gifts, talents, and character to impact their generation positively. For more information about these events and to stay connected with us, please visit our website at www.dclm.org you can also follow us on social media for regular updates and inspiring content from generation to generation god's inspired word the holy bible has remained the global bestseller and the most authoritative publication ever. And that's not for nothing. It's undeniable truths, life-transforming influence, indestructible posture, universal appeal and relevance, all attest to its divine origin. Now, you can read and study the Bible with so much insight and delight with a new, deeper life study Bible published by the Bible Society of Nigeria. The General Secretary of the Bible Society of Nigeria has said he has not seen any Bible like this that he can say, oh, this other Bible compares with that. It's uh, unique in its uh, presentation. And I also say, looking through, that is really unique. Because I've used uh, many study Bibles, but looking at this, I just have to shift. Because <laughs> this is it. All we need, we'll find here. And I want to recommend it to everyone. Every minister in any church, anywhere, you'll find this very useful. Once again, get a copy. The Deeper Life Study Bible is a complete authentic KJV with very useful study materials 
that will enhance your understanding and application of God's Word. These include clear-cut Bible doctrines, insightful book introductions, situational Bible helps, robust concordance, read-along references, study notes on holiness and other select topics. Deeper Life Study Bible comes in three genuine leather-bound choice colors of black, silver blue, and burgundy as well as beautifully bound hardcover. Leather cover, 25,000 Naira. Hardcover, 15,000 Naira. Book your copies ahead. You can get copies from Deeper Life Bookshops, Bible Society of Nigeria Outlets, and Leading Bookshops. Call 0802-860-5188 or 0901-751-5001. make up your mind to get to heaven and to escape hell only one way that can be done that you believe on the lord jesus christ because however good you are however generous you are however educated you are however high you are however elevated you are all that cannot save what saves who saves no other name the name of jesus the earlier you make up your mind the better when you come to christ all the guilt of your sin he'll wipe away the lord will not allow you to perish you will be an all together christian in jesus name Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Ask the Lord, what do you want? Ask the Lord. You are not here as a spectator. You want to come here and go back home with testimony. You have come here to meet with the Lord. You have come here to experience the touch of God. You need to pray that, oh God, tonight, pass me not by, oh gentle Savior. Touch me, meet me. At the point of my need, and the Lord will touch you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want a louder amen. amen. Give me an amen that is expecting a miracle tonight. In Mark chapter 10, in verse Mark chapter 10, in verse 51, and Jesus answered. And said unto him, What will thou that I should do unto thee? Here the, the blind man came unto the, unto the Lord Jesus Christ. As you have come here to meet with the Lord. And Jesus was asking the man. And Jesus is asking you today, What will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. What are you expecting from the Lord? mention specific problem, specific situation in your life, specific condition that you want the Lord to turn around in your life. Open your mouth and pray, Lord, Lord, that I may see. Are you blind? Lord, that I may see. Are you deaf? Lord, that I may hear. Are you dumb? Lord, that I may speak. Are you barren? Lord, that I may carry my own child. What miracles are you expecting? Are you sick? Lord, that I may be healed tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, mention specific things unto the Lord. Because the anointing of God is here to break every yoke. Whatever the problem you are carrying about, you have come to the presence of the Lord. Whatever challenge you are carrying about, you have come near unto the Lord. By coming to this crusade, the God of great possibilities, great possibilities through the power of Christ, we reach you tonight. If you will pray, if you will manifest faith, if you will believe the word of God, if you will believe the man of God, if you will believe the prophet of God, yes, great miracle is coming upon your life. Open your mouth, oh Lord, oh Lord, this is my situation, that I may be healed. 
this is my situation. Be certain sin in your life, sin dominating your life. Oh God, that I may be saved, that I may be delivered from the power of sin, and witches and wizards tormenting you. Oh Lord, that I may be delivered. Are you being tormented by bad dreams? Oh Lord, that I may be delivered. Whatever your condition, whatever your situation, cry unto the Lord. Cry mightily unto the Lord, and he will bless you tonight. He will bless you tonight. He will touch you tonight. Yes, God will be glorifying your life tonight. You must not go back empty-handed. You must not go back the same way you came. Ah, you must be able to say this, or go much of say, this is what the Lord did for me. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want to repeat again, those of us who are having testimonies, let's come forward to my right hand, to my left hand side here, where you will be prepared to give your testimonies. Our lady Yoruba, Tia Nia Rilati Je, Eje Kama Boso, Wa Waju, Lowa Lafi Amini Bi, Nibi Ti, Ao Ti Jeri, Owun Lati Olon Ti Shefuwa, Ma Bo Eri Remoleo, Ma Bo Re Olu Amora, Wa Lati Wa Jeri, Owun Lati Olon Ti Shefuwa, Don't cover the goodness of God in your life. Come and share the goodness, the testimony of the goodness of God over your life. In Isaiah chapter 10, in verse 27, and it shall come to pass in that day. Today is that day. I say today is that day. He said, and it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be delivered. Because of the anointing, there is a heavy anointing upon the man of God, fresh anointing upon the man of God as he's coming to minister to us tonight. You are going to pray. Every yoke that is upon your life must be destroyed. Open your mouth and pray. It's a matter of must, not just it can. It must be destroyed. You cannot go back home without problem. You cannot go back home without challenge. You cannot go back home without sinful nature. You cannot go back home without trouble in your life, without torment of the devil, without bondage of Satan. The Lord must set you free tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Every yoke upon my life, destroy them tonight. Remember a sister gave testimony yesterday. He said, how can I be under Papa's anointing? And I will be carrying this burden in my life. How can you be under this anointing here? And you see, go back home with your problem. You must get it settled. You must yank it out of your life. That yoke must be broken. Tonight must be your own night of testimony. Open your mouth and pray. I don't know for how long you have been looking for it. I don't know where you have gone for those, no, for, to, to solve those problems. It doesn't matter. As you have come to Jesus, as you have come under the anointing of the man of God, your problem is going to dissolve in the mighty name of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let every yoke be destroyed in my life. Let every power of the enemy be destroyed in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Another amen. You know Jesus Christ, he told that blind man, he said, your faith has made you whole. And there was a time the disciple came to Jesus, and they said, increase our faith. You need faith to connect with the spirit, to connect with the servant of the Lord so that your miracle will come upon your life. You are going to pray tonight. Lord, faith to receive my salvation. I receive tonight. Faith to receive my healing. Faith to receive my deliverance. Open your mouth and pray. Faith to receive my miracle. Faith to receive my child. Faith to receive my breakthrough. Faith to receive my, 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 my miracles. I receive tonight. Open your mouth and pray. And pray. And pray, oh Lord, increase my faith. Faith to connect. Faith to receive. 
faith to, to get what I desire, and you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. You will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to pray anything that wants to distract you when the man of God is ministering. Anything that wants to take your mind away from focusing on Jesus. Oh Lord, take it far away from me. Open your mouth and pray. Pray your own mind must be here. Your own heart must be here. Your own soul must be here. You must be ready. You must bring all your vessel so that you get the fullness of the blessing of God upon your life. Are you praying? Are you calling upon the name of the Lord? You must not go empty-handed. You can't go back home empty-handed. You are brought, you are here to receive. You are here to experience the goodness of God. You are here to experience divine mercy. You are here to experience the great possibilities through the power of Christ. You must.